Hey, how's it going guys? Destry here from DestryMonies.com and I just wanted to share with you the remainder of the pillars of online marketing. So number four, you have to share your credibility. People relate to other people when they are vulnerable. So if you are able to share your story, something that you personally struggled with and were, was able to overcome, people will relate to you. People will, will like you and they'll eventually trust you and do business with you if you can be vulnerable. So just remember to share your credibility when you're, when you're doing your online marketing. Um, I'm just looking at my notes. Uh, pillar number five, the time is now. Make them, give them a sense of urgency or, and, or scarcity in order for them to take action. And don't manufacture this urgency or scarcity. Make sure that it's real. So if there's only five clients that you're able to take on and just tell them that, you know, I already have three who are on my list to, to join my team. So there's only two spots left. That sense of urgency uh, helps people to, to take action because people hate to lose things. Number five is objection killing. Prospects need to believe that a, pro a problem can be fixed and that you can help them. So you wanna play devil's advocate sometimes. You want to address their objections before it's even brought up. If you can do that, that is something that will be so powerful in your marketing where people will respect you for being able to, to bring up objections that they've never even thought of. And number seven, the most important pillar in online marketing is you have to have a call to action. You have to be very specific about what that call to action is. If you want people to join your, your email list, say join my email list by putting your name and information on the form below. If you want people to check out your blog or share it, state it. Say exactly what you want people to do. People need direction. They when uh, you're marketing, you can't just leave it up to them. You need to be very specific about what you want them to do. If you want them to buy a course, then tell them, buy this course and you'll get the XYZ benefits. If you want them to join your team, specifically say that and what, are, what other bonuses are they going to receive when they do joined you through your link. So I hope that this post has been valuable to you. If you want more training, make sure you join my email list down below and I'll see you guys in another video.